One of the things that I really love about art is that it is so relaxing. I can, a lot of people say, well, you need to just stop and take a rest. You know, sometimes I'll tell people I've stayed up all night painting and they'll be like, you need to get some rest. Do you not realize that that is my rest? That is how I, you know, can just feel normal. <laughs> My name is Anna Dorsey. I'm also known as Rita. That's my nickname. Um, I got started pretty much through my home life. My, I live with uh, one sister and three brothers. My mother was a teacher and my father was a construction worker. Uh, but my mother, as a teacher, she taught us in the home. Just have us engaged all the time. So I think I quickly started realizing that I was really interested in drawing. So I used to draw and doodle all over my um, my notebooks at school and I would always get in trouble for it. Uh, one day she brought home this large piece of paper which kind of extended from the floor to the ceiling and I just started drawing this city and I just kept making it grow and grow and grow and it literally until I covered that whole paper and I think that really she made her start realizing she's really interested in art so she put me in a local art school and from there pretty much I had, I really had not, didn't have a lot of interest in schooling. Um, when I would be at school, I was a very shy little girl. And so drawing, I think, is what took me away from having to deal with, you know, the social part of, of schooling. Uh, but I hated school up until I went to college. But all of my coursework was art, art, art. Uh, but by the time I got to um, college, I wanted to go into art, but one of the problems is that everybody kept discouraging me because they kept saying, well, you know, you're not going to probably make a lot of money in art or, you know, that may be a dead end career. So I kind of felt discouraged and decided to go into something else. Uh, so I decided to leave that field and go back to school, take some coursework and become a teacher because everyone around me was teaching. And that would give me the opportunity to be home more often and I could use that spare time to do some of the things that I wanted to do like art. Um, so I did become a teacher, um, but I didn't teach art. I taught home ec for uh, two or three years and then I moved into language arts and social studies for the next 22 years from that point. So I finally retired and here I am. I decided this is the moment. This is my time to go ahead and maybe start my business. A lot of the art that I do, I get the inspiration from the people around me, um, the places that I've been, experiences that I've had in life, uh, memories, that is anything that is near and dear to my heart is the best inspiration that you know I get for to create a painting with. I walk through the park and I just look at nature and, and then I start getting these ideas. I'm really sitting there daydreaming, thinking about, um, you know, this would make a great painting. You know, I saw a man in a boat out in the water. It became a painting. And I have literally paint in my sleep. But when I wake up, I can't remember it. And it's so, it's so hard to put it on the canvas, you know. Um, but I love just everything around me, the people, the places, the, uh, like animals and flowers and trees. Those are my things that I, my go-tos to paint. Love painting people, that's my favorite of all. I've done a lot of paintings, but my most favorite is one of the, I think it was the very second painting that I've ever done. It was a picture of my four children. They actually were my son, my stepdaughter, and my niece and nephew. They were all, I was babysitting that day. And I said, you guys, come on, gather around. I'm going to draw you. So I made each one come and I drew each one. And then I put them together and made them look like little clowns. And they just loved it. And I was actually amazed myself because, again, this was my second painting ever of especially trying to do people. The first painting was an elephant, but the second one was of people. And so it was kind of amazing to see that it came out literally looking somewhat like them. And so that inspired me later in, you know, in my art career to start really practicing drawing people, you know, the people that I love. So right now, that's one of the things that I do is I do custom portraits and they're fun portraits. You know, uh, I like to put them in situations that they're not normally used to seeing themselves in. I love to uh, allow them to give me a picture. I will paint it from that picture, and, but yet I will change the background 
to make it look something, you know, some different, uh, um, something different that they weren't expecting. Mood can affect your art. Um, when you're, I've actually painted some uh, set of paintings where, like I noticed that when I'm uh, kind of depressed, I use a heavier lines. If I'm um, just really open and ready to work, you know, my mind is free, you tend to let the, the brush just guide you and you could just kind of let it go and it, it and just see where it brings you. I've had some really good art come out of allowing that brush to just flow by itself. Uh, but I've also had some really good art where even though those depressive lines, those heavy bold lines were there, mm -hmm. where I literally were guiding the brush, the brush strokes, it still came out good. I always knew in my heart that I wanted to be an artist, but I kind of threw that ideal to the wind because I listened to everyone around me, discouraging me. No, don't, you know, you can't be an artist because you're not gonna make the money or, you know, it's just not a lot of careers out there for artwork, you know, for artwork. And I just felt like, wow, I felt lost. If I had it to do all over again, I would listen to my own heart and make my own decisions for myself because this is the life that you live. What you have, what you have right now is what, you know, whatever you've made, this is what you have. And this, right now, even today, I wish that I had the time and the money because now I feel like I'm too old to be going back to school. Um, but I, there was a time that I literally was going online trying to find an art school that I could go to near me. But see, the problem with the type, of, this type of art, you literally have to be in person. It's not something you could just do online. You have to be go there in person. The, the one that I had found was in California, uh, but I knew I couldn't travel, and I had, you know, a young child. I couldn't travel to go there. I couldn't go away to school at this point in my life. It was just too late. So I, I feel like I let life pass me by. I would always tell someone to live their dream go after what you need to go after because you have to feel it. You have to like what you're doing and feel it in your heart. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love teaching. I really did. I've taught for 24 years. I love teaching, love my students, love what I was doing. But I knew that this other force was in my mind all this time. So that's why I kind of picked it up as a hobby on the side to at least be able to keep doing it, you know, to keep working that and keep working that magic and hope that one day I'll be able to build a business from it maybe. You know, it was just a thought then. Like I'm, I'm actually amazed. Sometimes I sit back and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm really a businesswoman. I really started a business. I can't even believe it myself sometimes when I wake up. There's just so much you can do with your art, but most importantly is that I just want to enjoy it. And I want others to be able to enjoy it the way that I do, because this is a very satisfying um, hobby for me. And, and I just think that art just makes you feel good inside. One of the things that is kind of my favorite thing to do is that I do abstract art, I do realism, I do surrealism, um, but I like, for me, my favorite is a mix of abstract and realism. So like for instance, in this painting, you can see in the background, this is done in a, uh, an abstract, where in this part of it is the realism. In this painting here at the bottom, and I'm not sure if you can see this, I can raise it up, the background is done in abstract, but of course the lady is done in realism. So my uh, company, Paint and Portraits LLC, not only offers originals, we also sell prints. And what I love about the prints is that you can get them in paper, wood, metal, and canvas. Uh, so you have those choices. Uh, you can decide if you want it framed or not framed. Um, you can also get merchandise such as t-shirts and cups and bags and puzzles and there's cell phone covers. There's so much merchandise to choose from. Okay, so if you are interested in seeing my art, you can find me at shop.paintingportraits.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, um, and YouTube.